In this video, we're going to be talking about determinants of 3 by 3 matrices. In this example, we're using 3, 5, 1, negative 4, negative 2, 3, 1, 2, and 9. First thing we need to do is copy the first two columns of the matrix and put them on the right side of the matrix. So we're going to copy these two right here and just going to put them outside the matrix. So we're going to go ahead and put 3, 5, 1, negative 4, negative 2, and 3. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and multiply diagonally. Okay. So we're going to start from top and then we're going to do the bottom part. So we're going to start with the top part. And in the top part we're going to start with this number here. So you always start with the first number there. And then when we're going up, we're going to go ahead and start from this number here. Okay. That's where we're going to start. So we're going to go ahead and start multiplying diagonally by three numbers. And we're going to multiply these three here. And then we're going to multiply these three numbers. Right there. Okay. So when we multiply those three numbers there, we're going to go ahead and multiply. And we're going to go and multiply 3 times 2 is negative 6. And negative, and negative 6 times 9 is going to give us negative 54. Okay, and then we're going to multiply down here. So we go negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. And then we're going to go for the last one. 1 times 5 is 5. And then 5 times 3 is 15. And we're going to subtract. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply now going up so we're going to start with this here here and then we're going to multiply this here times this and then we're going to multiply this times that to get the other side so then we're going to go ahead and multiply so we start here first we start 1 times negative 2 negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then we have 3 times 2 which is 6 and 6 times 3 is 18. And then we're going to go ahead to the last one. We have 9 times 5 is 45 and then we multiply 45 times negative 4 which is going to give us negative 180. Okay. After we go ahead and do that, you can go ahead and add and subtract these. And down here is going to give us minus negative 47 minus. And you can go ahead and add and subtract this here. It's going to give us negative 164. Okay. Then go ahead and and subtract so it turns into positive turn to this into a positive we have two different signs a negative and a positive so we're going to go ahead and subtract and our answer is going to go and give us 117 I'm going to show you a different way as well to solve it you can choose this way you can choose the other way you're still going to get the same answer it's just going to give you a different way of doing the same problem so in this one if you see they added the numbers on the side of the matrix. On this one we're going to add the numbers in the bottom of the matrix. So we're going to copy this one here, this numbers and this numbers and just add them here in the bottom. A little bit different. Same answer. So we're going to add the 3, negative 4, then we're going to add 1, and then we're going to do 5, negative 2, and Two. Okay, we're going to go ahead and multiply the same way. We're going to multiply, we're going to start by multiplying on the top here. This is the first thing we're going to multiply, then we're going to multiply our 5, 3, and 1, and then the last one 1, negative 4, and 2. 
Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this. Three times negative two is negative six, and negative six times nine is gonna give us negative fifty-four. Fifty-four. Then we're gonna go ahead and multiply five times three is fifteen. Fifteen times one is fifteen. And then we're gonna do the last one. One times negative four is negative four. Negative four times two is negative eight. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and multiply, but this time we're gonna go from the bottom to the top. I'm gonna multiply this here first. Five, negative four, and nine. Then we're gonna multiply three, three, and two. And then the last number we're going to multiply is 1, negative 2, and 1. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start and multiply 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Negative 20 times 9 is going to be negative 180. Now we're going to multiply 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 2 is 18. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply the last one, which is 1 times negative 2 times 1. So we have negative 2, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Now we're going to go ahead and add and subtract these numbers. So when you add this, it's going to give us 1. That's going to give us 47 minus negative 164. We're going to go ahead and add these numbers. So it turns to positive, turn this into a positive. And when you go ahead and do that problem, negative 47 plus 164, two different signs. So you're going to go ahead and subtract, and you're going to get 117. So as you can see, you got the same answer as the other problem. The only thing, as you can see, is some numbers are move around. Here you have positive negative 54 plus 15 minus 8. On the other problem you have negative 54, negative 8 plus 15. So the 15 and 8 and negative 8 just switch around. You have in this problem negative 180 plus 18 and minus 2. And then the other way you see negative 2 plus 18 minus 180. It's the same answer at the end is just two different ways whatever way you think is the easiest way for you to solve you can go ahead and use these two methods if you have problems just go back replay the video as many times go step by step pause the video so you can go ahead and understand how to do the determinants of three by three and don't forget to go ahead and share the videos with your friends if you know that they need help as well in this example we're doing we have 3 0 negative 2 2 1 negative 1 1 2 and 1 the method I'm going to use to solve this problem is that I'm just going to go ahead and add two of them here so we're going to go and add 3 2 1 and then 0 1 and 2 okay if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe and like and share the videos with your friends so let's start by multiplying. So we're going to multiply this here first. Then we're going to multiply this here. And then the last one, we're going to multiply this with this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with here. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 1 is 3. And then we're going to go 0 times negative 1 is 0. And then 0 times 1 is 0. Then I'm going to do the last one. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Okay. Try. And then we're going to go ahead and do the last one. And this time we're going to go ahead and start up. And we're going to go ahead and start by multiplying this here. And we're going to 
to multiply this here. And then the last one, we multiply this here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and multiply. We're going to start with 1 times 1. It's 1. And then 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Then we're going to do 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then we're going to do the last one. It's 1 times 2 is 2. And then 2 times 0 is 0. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add these numbers up, and then it should give you negative 5 minus negative 8. So then you're going to go ahead and turn this into a positive, and then you have a negative and a positive, so you're going to go ahead and subtract, and it should give you positive 3. In this example, we're using 5, negative 1, 9, 4, 0, 1, 3, negative 2, and negative 3. So in this example, I'm going to use the example where I put these two outside the matrix. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy 5, 4, and 3, and I'm going to use negative 1, 0, and negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, that multiply diagonally, then these here, and the last one here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 5 times 0 is 0 times negative 3 is 0. Then we have negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, so negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. The last one is 9 times 4 is 36, and then 36 times negative 2 is negative 72. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start from the bottom to the top. I'm going to start with this here. I'm going to multiply negative 2, 1, and 5. And then the last one, negative 3, 4, and negative 1. So we go 3 times 0 is 0 times 9 is 0. Then we have negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And then we go ahead and multiply negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add these numbers up. And this one should give you negative 75 minus, when you add all these numbers, it should give you positive 2. And then we're going to go ahead and add, so this becomes a negative. And then your answer is negative 77. 